Miss Yanny. Miss Yan. Welcome our new student from Hong Kong. Sing Sai Yun. Here. And I go by CC. Uh, and it's Yun. Yun? Yun. 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 Who cares? It sounds the same. No one asked you, Brendan. It's Brandon. Who cares? It sounds the same. Oh. <clears throat> uh, okay. CC Yun. Present. Stacy. Oh, sorry, traffic. This guy almost ran into me. Did you flip him off? No, he flipped me off and then he did this. Oh no, he didn't. I just hate how they have these easy racist gestures. Xenophobes really got their branding on lock. Like, what am I even supposed to do back? Like, like this? Or this? <laughs> or like <laughs> this? <laughs> Hi, welcome to Dumps Like a Truck where we have Dumps Like a Truck. <laughs> have you been in before? No. Oh, well here we do Asian fusion with an emphasis on soup dumplings, hence dumps. <laughs> Are you waiting on a third? Mm -hmm. I'll let you look at the menus. How did you hear of this place? Does some white Rachel Dolezal recommend it on Eater Seattle? Or is white Rachel Dolezal redundant? It's Frank Chow's new restaurant. Oh, I love him. Okay, I'll let a Chinese guy crossbreed pineapple with my favorite barbecue pork buns. I'll pay $14 for Mr. Chow's buns. Right, I mean, Asian food doesn't have to be cheap. Low-key flex. I just got a bowl of oxtail pho the other day for $16. They simmered that broth for 24 hours. Mm, treat yourself, girl. You know, I always do with food. I'm getting hangry. Can you get the service attention? You know the restaurant dance. They make a move, we make a move. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to make a move. I'm trying to move some dumplings into my mouth. <laughs> hey, Noi, you made it. We can finally order. Good to see you too, Yuna. I missed my bus after work. Hello, welcome. I'll get you some water. Oh, uh, we're ready to order some apps. We'll start with the uh, vegan porcini and truffle soup dumplings. The barbecue pork buns. The sugar crusted grilled pineapple mesquite barbecue pork bun? Yeah. Those. Any drinks? Mm, no height. I'll have a Sapporo, the tall boy. Jack and Coke? I'm good, thanks. You're not drinking during happy hour? Did you forget your Pepsi AC? No, you know I don't get the Asian glow. It's just my stomach's been acting up. Again? I'm already feeling buzzed. Such a cheap date. Song Min doesn't know how lucky he is. Don't get me started on Song Min. Last night... Last night, I found another joint in his gym bag after he told me he stopped because he's broke. Aw, oh, what? Song Min lied to you? Again? Well, at least it's Mary Jane this time and not Mary Park. <laughs> Too soon. Can't believe you got back with that dusty soju boy again. <laughs> He said they only texted. Pictures. <laughs> you know what they say, a dick pic is worth, well, nothing. Nobody wants to see that shit. We didn't order that. Can we please stop talking about my boyfriends? Anyway. Cece, how's your Instagram, blogger, influencer, social media thing going? Eh, posting once a day is hard. Most days I don't do anything but teach, come home after work, and I'm like too tired, so I just make cup of noodles. So not glam. I'd follow that account at Asian Girl Eats. That account probably already exists and is not safe for work. <laughs> she has a stomach ulcer. Uh, uh, ulcer? Oh. Ulcer stomach. What have you been feeding her? Oh. Ramen. Oh. You're never home. You're always working. I eat cup of noodles every day. Ramen is a better mom than you. 
Okay, ladies, here we have the porcini and truffle shea long bows. Have you had these before? Yep, once or twice. So what I want you to do here is be very careful. There's soup inside. That's why they're called soup dumplings. It's hot. <laughs> Aren't your parents from Shanghai? Yeah, it's the motherland of the Shaolong Bowl. Hey, she's trying, and she's cute. I still don't know how I feel about this fusion stuff. Well, according to my American Ethnic Studies degree that I've never used until this exact moment, that's how the Chinese made it here in America. You guys pretty much invented this Asian fusion stuff. What, like General Shao? Yeah, and chop suey, fortune cookies, sweet and sour chicken. Hmm, the truffle in this is so good. You should be a better Chinese person to make these for us. <laughs> Soup dumplings, okay. Ingredients, oh my goodness, 60 to 75 minutes, mix the fill, place the dough, knead the dough, the dipping sauce, assembly, cutting the pieces, the diameter, pinch to seal, rotating 18 pleats, oh no wonder they charge like 16 bucks for them, mm, this is too much work, let's see, what else, five cups of flour, five cups of water, okay, I think this one's manageable, Proof for one hour or until the buns become rounded, smoothed, and puffed. An hour? Natasha, it's Yun. It's not that hard of a one-syllable, four-letter word, and you seem to know those quite well. Oh, sorry, Miss Yun. When are we sharing our spoken word poems? Yes, does anyone want to nominate a peer to share? I nominate Ricky. His is hella of it. Scholarly language. Sorry, I mean his is hella good. Is your poem appropriate, Ricky? It's not like the last time you read your poem out loud where you thought you were the fourth Migo. Drop the N-word, got a detention. Nah, Miss Yun, I got you. Okay. My poem is called Baked in China. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Ladies out here with their nice steamed buns though. <laughs> Got all these saucy boys on the couch eating good. But y'all know who really be cooking this bread mine? Who be cooking this Xiaolong bao? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mommy and daddy really be out here whipping up food for y'all broke ass bum. Yeah, y'all ever think about how boring life would really be out here in the 1900s? Uh huh. Boy, they really ain't got no refrigerator, no microwaves, no Fortnite, no advanced oven. But they was cooking success their whole life, homie. Life in China really be, really be tough, cuz. Hey, but looking back, they probably ain't regret none of that. Meanwhile, y'all little bums really out here whining about no Wi Fi or no dessert. Or sad that they ain't got their little victory royale. Yo ancestors and parents work they ass off. So yo life in half baked. Yo parents life really be like dried up biscuits just to make yo life a piece of cake. Priority was to save myself. Knew I had to get my head straight for when I allowed to go chase the wealth. Always seeing through it. 3 a.m. and we would get into it. Mama cried like every night. I didn't mean to do it. She just wanna know what I'm doing, but I don't tell her though. Whenever I tried explaining, it's like she's seen a ghost. 
That's why I don't say nothing, keeping my eyes low just like they hoped since high school was me and C. Listening to motivation tapes while we on the way to get something to eat, trying to drown this anxiety.